In this exercise, we want to show that 1 third is less than the integral from 4 to 6 of 1 over x dx, which is less than or equal to 1 half. So to do this, we'll use a specific property of integrals. This property tells us that if we can trap the function between some lower bound little m and some upper bound big M, then we can trap the integral itself between two bounds. Well, our function is 1 over x, so we can pretty quickly get the minimum and the maximum for that on the interval 4 to 6. The minimum will be 1 over 6, since that's the smallest possible number in that interval, and the maximum will be 1 over 4. So thus, we've defined our little m, 1 6, and our big m, 1 fourth. And then what this theorem tells us it's essentially using these rectangles. There's a little rectangle that's under the function, and then a big rectangle that's above it. So whatever area is under this function, which is what the integral tells us, um, it's, it's bounded below by a little rectangle, and it's bounded above by a big rectangle of area. When we're thinking of all these just in terms of areas. So in our example here, we can compute b minus a. b minus a is simply 6 minus 4, which is 2. And then putting it all together and using this property here, we have, okay, so little m, 1 sixth times 2. It's less than or equal to this integral from 4 to 6 of 1 over x dx. Less than or equal to, okay, we decided big M was 1 fourth, again, times b minus a, which is 2. And then a quick simplification here takes us the rest of the way home. One third less than or equal to the integral from four to six of one over x dx, less than or equal to one half.